The physical characteristics of a tuberous breast is small breast shape, areolar dilatation and sometimes herniation. The inframammary fold may be located a bit higher than average. The areolar puffiness may be above average. The breast base may be constricted and the breast may have a very small look like a localized look and the whole breast may be herniated inside the areola. There may be asymmetry in the two breasts which is more often seen compared to average women who have normal breast shape. One, either one, several or all of the tuberous breast physical characteristics may be present in the patients. So when evaluating a patient with a tuberous breast deformity, all of these should be noted. Each breast may require different interventions because there may be asymmetry in the breasts and the patient has to be informed according to this preoperative evaluation. So the surgery that is done in a tuberous breast patient may be breast augmentation but the breast augmentation technique will differ from a classic breast augmentation because if a, if a patient with a small underdeveloped breast uh, who has areolar herniation is augmented only in a classical way, the puffiness and the herniation of the areola is going to look even worse than before if no intervention is done. And also, patient has a breast constriction, especially at the inframammary fold, and augmentation alone without having an intervention for the tuberous characteristics of the breast, the patient will have a double bubble deformity. So with a tuberous breast patient, we do a different kind of maneuver which actually requires release of the inframammary fold constriction. And also we add another component. We make a periareolar incision for patients who have areolar dilatation and herniation. So some patients uh, who have areolar dilatation and herniation and also breast base constriction may need to have two incisions around the areola and at the inframammary fold. Some patients who also have ptosis, who have given birth and uh, who have lactated may even have a vertical incision just like in a mastopexy surgery. So each patient uh, is different in tuberous breast evaluation and every patient has to have their own preoperative design and plan before surgery.